New at 6, GO Durham bus operators speaking out after they say more drivers have been assaulted by passengers in just the last week alone. Yeah, about a month ago, CBS 17 told you that the drivers took their concerns to the city, but tonight they told our Crystal Price that, had, that nothing, I should say, has been done and that the attacks are unfortunately continuing. Yes, these bus drivers say there have been more assaults in the last week. They say they don't feel safe coming to work and they don't think enough is being done to address it. As at this point, we have been assaulted, hospitalized, and nothing has been done. This is the voice of Tamika Walker, a Go Durham bus operator telling city council that bus drivers are still getting assaulted on the job. Since the last time we had talked, we had several incidents just to happen the other day to an operator that was assaulted on the bus. The passenger had threw a beer on her and also spit on her. She says some of the assaults are linked to the fact that they don't have enough bus drivers. We have overcrow overcrowded buses, which, have, which leads to angry passengers, which could lead to violence on the bus. Kirk Mitchell is another Go Durham bus driver who spoke before council, who says they are also losing Go Durham employees because many have been impacted by COVID and they are running out of sick time. Employees are facing suspension, termination because they exhausted all of their FMLA. A month ago, when Walker talked before council about the assaults, the city said they had put in plexiglass barriers in four of the 59 buses and eight new buses will also have the barriers. But tonight, Walker is asking for the city to take it a step further and for buses to stop running by 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday and by 7 p.m. on Sunday. What is it going to take? Do we have to have a fallen operator by the hands of an unruly passenger to get your attention? The city's transportation director was not at the meeting to address these concerns, but Durham Mayor Steve Schull says the city will further look into this. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Very disturbing there. Crystal also called and emailed Go Durham and Durham's transportation director to find out just how many assaults have been reported, find out how the city plans to take additional action. So far, though, she's heard nothing from anyone.